4,200, 55 pounds, little Jayco 19RB, J-Flight here at Halet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Just came in on trade. Fella decided uh, last year they bought this camper. They said, we're going to try it. We're going to stay small. We're going to stay less expensive. So if we don't like it, we're not going to, you know, hate ourselves. And they loved it. They loved camping. So they swapped this out for big 20 foot or 26 foot super slide couples camper here at Halitz and they hit the road yesterday. Did it all in one shot. Things can happen quick around here. Like there you go. There's another one leaving right now. Beautiful blue Winnie. Um, this is a cool floor plan. And by the way, if you want to see if, because things do sell quickly around here, if you want to see if this is still available and what we may be asking, folks on YouTube, I leave you a link down here in the video description. You are one click away from seeing if this is still in stock, what we're asking, and any extra specs and information I could scrounge up at the time. Overall, other than a couple appealing decals, which are cosmetic, not functional in nature, I can't find anything that really concerns me on this. This looks like it was pretty well kept, used, not abused. That's the message of the day here. Um, you know, we're a, uh, a Jayco dealer. The J-Flight is and has been the number one selling travel trailer for, what, since 2005, so like 12 straight years. A um, lot of little reasons for it, like the, you know, the roof is more heavily constructed. So this has, um, a lot of campers have a walk-on roof. This just has a more heavily load-bearing roof, which is great here in the Midwest where we can get some real heavy snow packs sometimes. It depends on where you live, maybe that's true too. Obviously, small thing. If you've got a reduced tow capacity vehicle, this is an easy towing little bugger. And it's got basically a maximum length patio awning. You just really can't put a bigger awning on here if you tried. So you get maximum patio space. It has the same size awning as a lot of campers that are a heck of a lot bigger. Stepping inside here. Again, used, not abused. And it has that classic honey oak Jayco cabinetry that I was born and bred on. I love the look of that. And I, uh, I'm, I, I, I long for it to return to the business, maybe one day. Everything is cyclical. You know, even bad clothing and music seems to be cyclical. <laughs> Ever notice the music that you listen to when you were kids, the best and everything else is garbage? Yeah, it's kind of, it's how it is for everybody. <coughs> so, very interesting, I, but I like it, front living room layout. Now, this is a huge closet over here. This, this has just an absolute ton of storage in it. That's the bulk of your hanging storage right there. But you've got your front little um, stand up here with storage. You got this extra side stand, overhead, 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 overhead. And while we're looking overhead, this little thing actually still has central air and that really surprised me. I did not expect that. It has central air and central heat. Though I did notice the previous owners they put like this, um, it's just like a little sticky tape surface uh, uh, adhesive that um, they, they put on here so that, um, you know, they wouldn't have to worry about, uh, you know, dirt getting in their vents. So if you are going to cold camp, you could easily pull that off. But if you're not going to cold camp, well, it just keeps your vents from getting dirty. Uh, real quick note, this is a manual slide out. And that shouldn't scare people. These old, I mean, you see how shallow the slide is? This is not a big, heavy slide. It might take 15 seconds, if that, to crank it out. It's just not hard. It's not the end of the world. Um, sofa can fold down into a little bed if, uh, you know, the uh, grandkids maybe come over. You've got an extra little sleeper there. Um, you know, next time I'm in the doghouse, this gives me a perfect place to sit. The table's removable, so that can be, uh, you know, you can take that out if you don't want it there, if you just want more of an open lounging sort of atmosphere. Um, spinning around, I was very impressed. This little trailer has a full-size six cubic foot fridge and freezer. I expected a smaller four to five cubic foot. Now, I actually like that this doesn't have an oven. Most people don't use ovens, and frankly, that storage that you gain as a result instead of an oven is more valuable in this small floor plan than the oven that you're not going to use. And I do like that kitchen cross breeze window. This is a well-executed little trailer. I like that. Um, we do have a little corner bed back here. Uh, pretty common, and uh, especially for its time. You don't see near as many corner beds now as you used to, um, but they're a very space efficient thing because you can shove the bathroom next to it and congratulations. Um, this arrangement's more usually reserved for bunkhouses now. Now, I do like the overhead storage and we are picking up some extra shelf space over here. Now, originally this was a hanging closet. Someone had apparently converted it over to shelving, but I mean, you can easily convert it back. And this has a split bathroom. This is a, a very efficient thing because someone can be using the primary bathroom while someone else can be washing their hands, brushing their teeth, whatever. Now, this is extra tall. 
Um, this has a six foot nine interior instead of industry standard six six. So when you step up into the tub, because the base of the tub is taller than the base of the floor to meet um, plumbing code, basically, you, tall people like me, if you're over six foot, you're going to like this camper because you can stand in the shower. And notice we're getting a power, uh, the full size power vent fan and skylight. That's pretty much it. She's not the biggest trailer, but there's a lot of good going on here. I'm actually, uh, I'm real impressed with this. This has been well kept. And you know, case in point, I always tell people, if you want it, people say, well, is this a good camper? I mean, is it going to hold together? Go look at a used RV lot and find one like this that's over, I don't know, 10 years old and take a look at that. That's going to tell you if your camper is going to hold together. This should give you an idea of what the new J flights that we carry here at Halid RV are going to do for you. They get the job done. There's a reason they've been the number one selling RV period in North America since 2005. Not just trailer, but fifth wheel, everything. They're just the number one. So take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy camping everyone. Remember, link in the video description to check price and availability.